What's going on guys, it's New603 from Shoosty Bang, and today I'm bringing you Snoov on PC Episode 5, and actually it has been quite a while since I last covered this. In fact, Episode 4 was done back on April 27th, so at this point we're almost four months removed since I did the first episode, or you know, the, the last episode. To give you a quick recap of what I did in the first four episodes of this series, Episode 1 was going over my PC, which is my old one I don't have anymore. I actually sold it to a friend, because I recently got two new ones from that Crisis 3 tournament. If you missed that video, there's a link for it down in the description explaining everything that happened and the details as to the three PCs that I won from that. Episode 2 was going over games that, uh, you know, picking games to play. Games that me personally, that I had chosen, that I, I found to be enjoyable, and also helped to train me become proficient using a mouse and a keyboard, starting with a game like Chivalry, which just uses the bare bones basics, WASD for movement, and then, you know, left click and right click on your mouse for attack and block. It doesn't get any easier than that. That was just kind of help with that basic muscle memory. And then I kind of went over that a little bit in depth more with episode 3. That was entitled Patience and Training. And that kind of reinforced the point that making the switch, if you were a lifelong console player going to PC, it's not that easy. Some people, yeah, can pick it up, but I think it's a safe assumption that the majority of people that make that kind of transition after playing on console for such a long time, it's not an overnight thing to become proficient using a mouse and keyboard. Some people, yeah, but I, I honestly think that the majority probably struggle. I could be wrong. So that was episode three was talking about um, patience and training. You, you just got to keep plugging away at it and you have to be patient. It's not an overnight thing, but you're being patient and just plugging away at it will reward you. And in episode four, I, I covered why I moved to PC because a lot of people were really upset that I, I quote unquote abandoned console, but it really wasn't about that. Episode 5. This is going to be, as you can tell by the title, where am I at now? It's been months, actually five and a half months since I started the series, since uh, the first episode came out. So it's actually been about six, seven months since I really started, you know, making, um, I promise myself, okay, time to, you know, buckle down and do what you always said you want to do and start playing on PC. One of the things I want to cover is where am I at skill-wise, because that was one of the things I'd always talked about, is how can I tell if I'm playing really, really well on PC compared to on console? Now, on console, I considered myself a pretty good player. My accuracy wasn't that great, but I did make up for it in other areas of my gameplay, and, you know, my gameplay style. So I want, I, I knew that, okay, going into PC compared to console, on console I was actually pretty good. I was usually always in the top three, if not, you know, top three was pretty normal. Top five was definitely normal. That was, you know, without a doubt, it was always top five. Very rare would I fall out of the top five. I considered that to be pretty good. You know, KDR was hovering in the one and a half to two range, which I was fine with. And, you know, I had some really good games, had some really bad games, but overall, it, I think my KDR was like a 1.78 or whatever, something like that. We'll say 1.75. We'll take the average. My SPM was pretty high score for a minute if you're wondering what that is and my win loss ratio is pretty good but that doesn't really have anything to do with me personally so after all that rambling let's get you know specific where am i at on pc starting skill wise i actually think i am just as good if not better on pc than i was on console and again like i said on console i actually think i was a pretty damn good player I'm certainly not the best but certainly better than average and on pc I, I feel like i finally got to that point and i turned the corner on that about maybe a month ago at this point Two months leading up, so we'll go, okay, we'll go back three months ago, and then leading up to a month ago, I was doing okay. I was, like, average. I wasn't really getting into the top five, and then, like, you know, first or second place on my team was, it was kind of difficult for me to get. But I was, you know, I was doing okay. I was kind of hanging in there and stuff. Uh, score per was still pretty good. KDR was suffering. There was a lot of fights I was losing. But, you know, overall, like, I, I could feel it. I was like, okay, I'm at that point where I can kind of hang on my own, and that's good enough for me, but I need to keep progressing. I want to be that... You know, that, that guy that can carry a team if need be. And it was about a month ago, something just clicked where it got to that point where I don't have to think about what I'm doing or what I'm using, what buttons I'm hitting. I just see it and I, I react. I act, react, react, act, whatever, however you want to say it. And I, I just, it clicked. It was like a light bulb. All of a sudden one day I was just like, okay, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I just don't even think about it. I'm just playing. I'm going with emotions. Everything's fluid. Everything's smooth. Everything's happening as fast as I want in my head. You know, as I'm seeing it, I'm able to translate it perfectly to the keyboard and the mouse. And pretty much since that point on, I feel like I've been playing just as good, again, if not better, on PC than I ever was on console. 
Getting in the top five is pretty much a normal thing for me now. Getting in top three, nah, not quite as often, but still, it's often enough. It, it really depends on what kind of game type we're playing. I tend to do a lot better on games like Rush and, you know, Team Deathmatch. Conquest, I, I'm, I still hold my own, but I tend to get distracted anyway, so I don't really play it the way I should. <laughs> you know, other than that, I mean, it's just, I, I guess that's really the, the gist of it is, I feel like now, we'll say six months after everything started from where I, I actually made playing on PC my main thing than playing on console I'm at that point where I know I can hold my own I can go in and I can be that guy that people can rely on to to be a difference maker and that's what I've always wanted to be that was one of the things I was always striving for and I really feel like I'm there and that makes me feel good because it was kind of a long road getting there and it's a lot of work to do it especially for someone like myself but it's paid off and I'm very very happy with it I'm happy where I'm at or where I'm at in the game I mean could I do a little bit better yeah probably everyone's always got room for improvement but I don't feel like I need to make any significant leaps and bounds to be able to hold my own if I were to go and play, you know, against a bunch of tryhards. So, that's that. One of the other things I want to talk about is how am I enjoying it overall? I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really happy because it's still new to me. Even though I've been doing this now for, you know, six, seven, eight months or whatever, it's still all really, really new to me. And I don't feel like that at any point anything's really stagnant. Where That was the main reason why I walked away from console is because I've been doing it for so long that I didn't really feel like there was anywhere for me to go. I was just going through the motions day in and day out and it just kind of lost that luster for me. And then PC was this whole new thing, even though I'm playing the same games, it's just the way it's done was different. And I still feel that way. I still feel just as excited getting into it now, six, you know, seven, eight months down the road than I did from day one. Has anything really changed since I started? The only thing is, when I first started out, I was actually on just a regular keyboard. And going back about a year and a half now, I don't know if you're familiar with it. If I can remember, I'll put a link down in the description of the video. There's the Razer Nostromo, which is kind of like a small, palmable, single-hand keyboard. And that's what I had used. Um, I actually was able to pick one up from Jimmy the Snake really, really cheap. I got to tell you, if you're looking to get into PC gaming, I highly, highly recommend this thing, for especially for first-person shooters. Some other games, like StarCraft, it doesn't really work out. You want to maybe get the Orb Weaver because it's got four extra keys. Uh, it could be actually more than that. It's a little bit bigger, it's a mechanical keyboard versus this is like a traditional keyboard, if you will. A little bit more squishy keys instead of clickety clacks. But that has really simplified things, and I'm actually going to do a review on that in the next couple of days and show you my setup as to how much it makes a difference. And there's my dog, jingling, jangling away. So last but not least, am I going back to console? I'm sure, you know, I know, actually know a lot of you guys keep asking, Hey, Snoo, are you ever going to get back on PS3? Yes, eventually I will. What I'm planning on for PS3 specifically is doing a little kind of last hurrah on Battlefield 3 before Battlefield 4 comes out. I'll get everything set back up. We're going to rent out a server, put it on a shoes to being name. We will announce the hell out of it two weeks ahead of time before this happens so that all of our PC subs, or sorry, PS3 subs that want to join in on this, they can. And we'll do it for a couple of nights so that everyone has a fair chance to get in there and it would kind of be like, a, you know, uh, again, the last little hurrah. But as far as moving forward, going into next gen, yes, I'm still definitely going back to console. I'm going to get a PS4 because there's going to be a ton of exclusives that are going to come out over the next 10 years until the next next gen that I don't want to miss out on. And I still do enjoy playing on console from time to time. So I'm definitely going to get it because, well, why not? I, I love my tech stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, that's going to be it. I know it kind of rambled on and on, but I, I wanted to cover everything leading up to this episode, a little bit about what the main point of this episode was, and then kind of looking forward as well. So it was a lot to throw in all once. If you guys want to see if there's something else specifically you want me to talk about in this new to PC series, I will continue it. Right now I don't have an idea for as to what I can do for episode 6, but if you guys give me something that you really specifically want me to cover, I can and will be willing to do that. So leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys.